We got our eyes on some pretty cool AI technology yesterday. Um, Pat, what uh, what were we what were we doing with AWS yesterday? Yeah, so um, we got the grand tour. Uh, you know, we talked to developers, we talked to architects uh, about the entire AWS custom silicon uh, portfolio. Uh, two key uh, locations for this development work. Uh, one of them is in Austin, Texas, which we visited, and the other is in uh, Cupertino. And I literally got every single one of my questions answered about Graviton, about Trainium, about Inferentia. So, uh, I, and I got to take pictures. We got to take freaking pictures of boards of the backs of chips that that will tell you almost everything out there uh some really cool stuff that well first of all the uh uh inferentia 2 and trinium 1 are the same chip now the blocks are programmed differently for different things versus training versus inference and it's it's packaged a little bit differently on the board uh, but it was a, it was it's the same chip, and I think that's really cool. Ironically, right when it comes to generative AI, even with Nvidia, uh, their A their H100 does both inference and uh, and and training. I thought that was that was pretty cool. And gosh, one big takeaway was they designed for ten years, right? They design connectors. They designed their chips to last ten years and i thought that was a just a huge uh takeaway for me uh they showed us racks too which was crazy and the most impressive to me was this uh uh foundational model training beast it's two four u racks stacked on top of each other with a three u that has the cpu module interconnected by copper freaking cables over pci express I would have thought for sure it would have been optical, right? That's how you connect high bandwidth stuff, but they worked the signaling to the point where they almost hit the performance of, well, not the full bandwidth of optical, but uh, at a just an incredibly lower cost with the same amount of reliability and having nearly the speed of, of NVLink. And I just thought that was just a, a big thing. The other, the other kind of fun fact here is they actually do wafer system wafer testing. So that's taking a 12 inch wafer, putting it on a fixture at a foundry in Taiwan that you, that, that you might know. Um, and it runs neural nets on it. And I think that I've never heard of that in my life. I've heard some basic testing, right? Make sure power, making sure your, your pins are lighting up, but they actually do functional testing. The reason they do that is uh, interposers and high, uh, HBM and the packaging cost so much. Uh, why test uh, on, a, on, a, on a full processor? Now, that makes sense, but the fact they do it on a complete 12 inch wafer blew my mind. And it's, by the way, it's not punching out the chips uh, and, and testing those, it's actually putting the entire wafer on a fixture and doing a, a functional. Uh, test got the inferentia two tray pretty cool it's for you you don't rack and stack because the uh the cpu's on there boy that looked like an amd cpu with 12 uh, inferentia cards going over uh pci uh, express and again i can't believe they let us take pictures of of the boards themselves we saw lattice some big lattice semiconductor semiconductors probably security potentially an fpga for io and then we saw i saw a bunch of of marvell which is likely likely networking so again unprecedented access i've been covering these guys for a decade and that's how long the company has been doing this but big picture i'm going to get out of my geekdom uh real quick is aws has found a way to have their cake and eat it too they have merchant silicon, everybody wants to work with them. NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, uh, for CPU, for GPU, for AI, because they are the largest IaaS provider. 
uh, hands down. So you want to go strong with AWS. And then they have their own custom silicon, right? CPU, inference, GPU, uh, and um, uh, kind of, you know, where where it all started, which was on the um, on the networking plane, uh, which is ironically uh, ironic. So they can provide customers lowest cost. They can provide the customers highest performance. And I'm just scratching my head wondering how do the other providers compete on this level? You can't just dive in and be world class. It took Apple 10 years and it took AWS 10 years. And the question I have is how long will it take uh, everybody else to to get to this level if they even want to go there? Because AWS has to be spending a billion dollars a year on uh, on development. Uh, it has to be, right? There's just no... You know, even if I go, you know, 250 million a design uh, per year that they have to have to rev, they, they have to be spending this. So I'm going to end it there. I'm really excited about getting this access. Never thought we would get it. Nobody lets you take pictures of boards, really. But but they did. And they don't even let you take pictures of their racks because their racks are non-standard from power and, and, a, and a width and a height basis. So again. Okay, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to calm down. Dan, you got the ball. Yeah, you did. You spilled my beans. You shared all my secrets. Yeah, I had a couple of people because, you know, when you and I asked, like, we share these? And they're like, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, sure. Like, okay. And then I, I tweeted. And some people were like, I can't. I actually had like, like 15,000 people look at that tweet. And they're like, I can't believe they let you share that. You know, like people are commenting on that. And uh, it was really cool. And it was kind of, you know, like, I guess their point is kind of like, well, it's not like other people can't do this and take these out of a rack and take a picture of it potentially. But um, generally speaking, it's not a known practice to to give that away. Pat, my, my take on it, though, is kind of like they're like, catch us if you can, you know, <laughs> catch us if you can. Um, you know, there's a, a quote, I believe it was Herb Kelleher, the CEO of Southwest Airlines early on. He said, you know, I could leave my entire strategic playbook on the seat of one of my planes. Yes. And uh, I'm not worried about anybody because I don't believe anybody else can execute yes. like we execute. And I think that was a little bit of what we were hearing was they absolutely believe in their execution. They believe in their ability to deliver price performance. Um, you know, and you, you're, you're coming about kind of the get it all here, merchant silicon all the way to custom, uh, you know, homegrown silicon. They're like, we've got it all. I mean, look, this company is it's not a it's not a small margin by which they're the world's largest infrastructure player. It's not small. As much as we want it to say it is, it's yeah. actually pretty substantial, uh, especially because the way numbers are are sort of represented by all the different cloud companies. When it comes to pure enterprises running their their infrastructure on AWS, it's a fairly significant gulf. Um, having said that, of course, everybody's competing. But you know, Pat, the theme vertical integration. The theme we understand that if we can be more and more vertically integrated. We can be higher growth. Uh, we can deliver better experiences across the application stack. Uh, and, and of course, you know, there's a there's a model for this. The company is called Apple, um, and it's a different business, but it's the yeah. same of understanding how as you vertically integrate, you control your destiny more. But they're approaching it in all ways, and I think they're doing a good job from a balance standpoint. You you hit a lot of the geekiest stuff here, Pat. But from a from a story and an evolution here, you know. Pat, they're, they're taking things like PCIe and using it to create competitive networking um, to what, you know, you know I'm not going to say it's, it's, it doesn't outperform NVLink, but the point they're kind of saying is like, yeah, but like for one-tenth the cost, we can yeah. give a whole lot of performance. And things like that is, are, are pretty impressive as we know that the scale of AI eventually is going to need to address price markets from lower to upper. By the way, your background is so cool. I'm just telling you that you. the buildings the behind you, up, folks. Yeah, God, that's so cool. 